okay I think we're live let me just check I don't often do live streams so I just want to make sure the tech is working um, I have something absolutely amazing to show you I mean I, I honestly can't remember the last time I've seen something like this um, this is a tool an AI tool that you can get access to that basically you can type in basic anything that comes into your mind and this AI will generate an image based on what you're putting into it and these are not basic images these are complex highly detailed images and the level of complexity and detail is only dependent upon our own imaginations. Let me show you some of the designs that I've already uh, been working on. I mean, since I've been using this, I, it's, it is quite addictive. It's, 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 I just have to show you, I'm kind of speechless because this is amazing. Obviously, the first thing I wanted to search for was something that I've always found difficult finding for my videos. If you've been following this channel for a while, you'll see that I use images a lot and I use the same images over and over again. And that's partly because it's always a challenge to find the right kind of images and iconography for what I'm trying to convey in my videos. So the first thing that I decided to search for, obviously, is going to be Gods of Ancient Ireland, Celtic clothing, magical and mystical. And I got something like this. And how it works is it kind of gives you four examples of its imaginations. And then you can uh, ask it to go into more detail. You can say, I want different variations of a specific one. And that's kind of what I was playing around with. So I went into more detail on this guy. And it's just for me, it's quite stunning. I, I see this as something, a man, a woman who is standing with their back to us, looking out at a circle of standing stones. But just forget about the kind of picture for a moment, just the, what kind of emotion is this conveying? What kind of atmosphere and mood is this conveying? It's quite interesting. Here's another example. This was uh, Gods of Ancient Ireland, Celtic, magical, hyper-realistic. And it gave me this kind of like stone icon but I'm going to come back maybe in a few minutes to the examples that I have because I want to show you how it works and it takes a few minutes to generate the images. So maybe while the images are generating, I can jump back and forth and show you some of the images that I've already made. But the crazy thing is that this has already been very controversial um, over on my uh, Facebook channel where I started posting these last night. Um, I've, I've shared this post with the message, this image has never been seen before. Just let that sink in for a second. This image has never been seen before. It's never been in the mind of man before. It has been generated by artificial intelligence using the prompts, gods of ancient Ireland, Celtic clothing, magical and mystical. And it's quite mixed. <laughs> well, most people like it, but there are definitely some people who are not a fan technically it's nonsense but if you enjoy what it regurgitates fair enough Ma machine art is subjective and i mean when is art not subjective i think that's the whole point of it um you could say all art is nonsense it's about what it makes you feel it's about how it emotes you and then you can see like the next person is like this is inspirational it captures a celtic mystery next person then i don't care for it it feels like uh, it's spookifying of Celtic mythology. It's so interesting for me to see this kind of controversy because, you know, art, typically, traditionally speaking, is about pushing the boundaries. It's about making us ask questions. It's about making us think, and it often evokes controversy. Sean here is saying, and he's making a good point, AI is like a Pandora's box, and I agree with him. It really is. And now that I've seen this tool... It just, it's a little bit scary because I can see how this tool and evolutions of tools like this 
can basically make the whole graphic design and art sector art by humans maybe like obsolete because the complexity the 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 color the imagination the let's say the ability for ai to think outside of the box it's it's going to make it very difficult for human beings to compete and this is just talking about art all right so i want to show you how this works okay let's try something now every time you put a prompt into it it's reimagining it for the first time so if i was to use the same prompts that i did the other day it's going to give me maybe similar but actually um it's reimagining it for the first time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the prompt just to show you how this works and I want to tell the bot, which is called, I should say, Mid Journey Bot. Look up Mid Journey Bot. And it's on Discord. So I want to say, hey, AI, imagine the gods of ancient Ireland in Celtic clothing, magical and mystical. And let's maybe add something to like, I don't know. Um, uh, let's add uh, stars, just to add something into it. Okay, now as I said, it takes a few minutes to load, but let's just watch that as it goes. And um, you'll see how it renders. While that's rendering, I'm just gonna check on my phone that the live stream is actually working because that would be unfortunate. Okay, and you can just watch how the AI is kind of thinking there. And I don't know if even thinking is the right, is the right or appropriate word. Uh, to say for this but it's rendering the image as you can see and it's going to give us four different examples of what it thinks when you put these prompts into it okay we're at 95 percent now so the first rendering you get four options i'm going to zoom in maybe we can see that a little bit better Okay, so four different artistic renditions, and I kind of like the first one because that's quite unusual. Actually, they're all so interesting. I love them all. <laughs> this is what I mean. This, this thing is so addictive. So what I can do now is I can say, right, I like, say, the first one. Um, so you have these two things here. You have U is for upscaling and V is for variations, right? So let's say I really like the first one, but I want to see if there's different variations of it. Okay, so I can take this and it's going to render four more variations in a similar style as the first one. And let's say I really like, I actually really like this third one. I don't want to make other variations of it. What I want to do is I want to like increase the detail so I can upscale it here. And they're just going to be rendering there in the background. You can see we already have our four examples, four variations. Look at these. Very cool. And you can see the stars now starting to make an appearance through the AI generation. Now let's go for, they're all so good. Let's, I think I like the second one and the fourth one. So I'm going to upscale those two. And while they're upscaling, we can jump back to the previous one that I upscaled. Uh, it's at 58% now. I will jump back to a few of my, my own in a moment, but I want to show you guys how it actually works and what the experience of using it is like and watching it rendering. And is, is thinking the right word? I don't know. <laughs> um, imagining um, what it thinks when you say gods of ancient Ireland, Celtic clothing, magical, mystical, and stars. But this is nothing like these paintings this is just the possibilities are endless i'm going to show you something else now do you know what while these are rendering i'm going to type in another search right and i'm going to say imagine um i've already tried this one but i just want to show you something similar so let's say like imagine 
a a Celtic cross made out of crumpled paper and string. This is just right. I'm just it's nonsense. I know it's nonsense, but let's just see what happens. You can also like add uh, prompts into it that are going to make it um, much more realistic. So you can have like ultra um, let's let's do something first. Let's say like um, an oak leaf um, close up. Um, ultra uh, high def, something like that. Octane render. And uh, multicolored. Okay, that's that's working away there. Let's have a go. Look back at our Celtic cross made out of crumpled paper and string. I mean, these images did not exist until a few seconds ago. Not even in the mind of any human being that these images exist what I mean what <laughs> so you can see them upscaled here and you can go upscale to the max then to get the highest quality version and then you can also make variations of your upscaled version so you can see how you can go into more complexity more variety greater detail and the commands and prompts that you use are going to like determine some of that. Look at this one. That is amazing. So do you know what I'm going to do for this one? I'm going to say upscale that to the max. Cool. Okay, an oak leaf close up ultra HD octane render multicolored. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. to show you a few more of my creations and then I think I'm gonna wrap up this video I just wanted it to be a short one I'll, I'll make more videos like this Um, this one down here was Stonehenge on Mars with a colorful sky and I didn't make any like advanced uh, versions of that Um, but that's exactly what it is Stonehenge on Mars with a colorful sky this was when I obviously had to show my wife how amazing this tool was and obviously my wife asked me to put in about a cat so this is a celtic cat playful fluffy on the moon listening to music i didn't really see anything with music but this is when we kind of went into more detail different variations this was a mystical forest background gods of ancient ireland celtic magical hyper realistic and i can always go back into these projects if i want they're always saved so i can come back in here if i wanted to and i could say actually i really like the look of this one i want to make that a little bit more detailed i want to get different versions of that i'm able to come in here and i can go back to the com i can copy the prompt and do it again or i can open the original message and uh, get to the variations of it now this one here i'm going to show you and then we're going to do it again okay Let's summon the Tua Hadadanin. The Tua Hadadanin were like, you could call them the old gods, the gods of old Ireland. Um, they later became the she people or the people of the hills, the fairies of old Ireland. Now, I just asked the robot, the AI, to think about what does the Tua Hadadanin look like? And this is what it told me. I know. It's quite it's quite a lot to take in. It almost looks like a, a nature spirit morphing and flickering in and out of two states of being human and non-human. This is what I attempted to portray some of the Celtic gods in the hot style of the Hindu gods, the Hindu art, but you know it's it, you have to experiment these these creatures came back that's not what i was expecting look at this beautiful one 
the two had the data. So let's do it again right now, okay? Let's let's go back first of all and just have a quick look at the ones that we were waiting for. I don't think we were waiting for anything else. Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. But let's say, hey robot, imagine the two imagine tuaha de danan. Um let's do let's add something into it like uh ultra realistic or something. Uh octane render CGI uh ultra realist I did that. <laughs> Okay, um, photo. I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's see. let's just see what it conjures. Okay. And while that's doing that, I'll just um, quick check on the live stream. Okay, so I have um, I'm trying to get the chat open in front of me here, but I have a kind of a small screen, and I'm trying to do a lot of. It's t things at the same time but if you're watching the live stream tell you what type in a suggestion type in a string of prompts what would you like me to put into this and I'll do it okay now this is a service that I paid for so super chat would be nice but it's it's not necessary I want you guys to see this tool and how cool it is so if you have something that pops into your mind I'd like it to be something to do with Gaelic Ireland of course but Let's let's just go mad. We can do whatever we want with this because this is. I, I I honestly can't remember any time in my life where I've experienced a technology like so. I, so kind of advanced as this. To render imagination. In almost real time. So it's um giving me these four versions here okay let's have a look at them again so I, I i mean there's only one here that's as of a person so let's tell it to make us a few more variations of the person so that's that's number two we'll make a few more variations of them and then we'll see from that can we go into more detail and pull anything out of it While that's working away, I guess I'd really like to say a huge thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel lately. Um, just last week, Brehan Academy reached a million views and um, the subscriber count is going up quite a lot as well. Thank you to everybody who's sharing the videos to get the word out there. I think I'm a very niche um, channel. Um, I'm not sure YouTube knows how to deliver my content the best way. Uh, so I really need the support of you guys in the community who like this work to spread the word. So I really appreciate all of that. Awesome. So let's have a look at our variations. Okay. To had the done in ultra realistic. I mean, let's zoom in a bit. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? What are we looking at here? Okay. <laughs> let's let's um I think I like the first one. Let's make her come alive. And I think I also would go for the second one. So let's just do these two. And I'm checking back and forth on the chat. I know there's only a few people on. It's not the best time to be doing a live stream. I know it's a Sunday afternoon. It's actually a beautiful day here. In Dublin I should be going out um, enjoying the outside but this is just I'm too excited about this I really want to um, make a quick video and then um, just show you this new tool it has its benefits but would still somebody in the chat sorry uh, Kali hi Kali it has its benefits but would still recommend the experience of hands-on arting yeah but I agree what's interesting is we're about to have that debate you know we're about to have the debate of what is art <laughs> it's an old debate it's an old philosophical debate and it might come to a point where yeah as a society we evolve and say like well art by machine is just like not art but it's going to be hard to make that case when you can't tell the difference first of all or it's better um then it's a case of well, maybe it's the labor, maybe it's the actual physical paint on the canvas that will become 
the desirable thing in art who knows but the ability to be able to conjure up an image in a matter of basically two minutes um that never existed before that doesn't take hours and hours and, and years and years and years of uh, developing your craft um it's yeah we're kind of through the looking glass here i think okay so we have two upscaled now let's have a look at her look at this This is what artificial intelligence imagines when you say to a Hadidani, ultra realistic CGI photo. And you know what? I'm going to upscale these, both of them, to the max. Let's bring them to life. see if anybody I think she is <laughs> oh here's another one I did um, actually I can show you while while it's rendering so I I put in like high Irish high kings um, and like Cormac McArt the name of a famous Irish high king here's another one which is like battle of the gods of light and darkness in ancient Ireland, the Tua had the Danon versus the Fomorians. I mean, to me, it just reminded me of like, this image kind of gave me a sense of a balor, the evil eye, the light shining from the head, but also like just very kind of like ancient sort of pagan f uh, vibe to a pagan atmosphere to it, you know? Okay, let's have a look at a few more. This was also a similar prompt, but I went down a different kind of variation you have like a standing stone sort of figures here. You have sort of a Celtic god, like kind of reminds me of the uh, the cauldron. I think the ghost of cauldron. And um, just this is all just generated in in a matter of moments, minutes. Look at this. I can see that those two. I just got the notification that they're ready, but I'll just show you a few more of these. So it kind of started off like that. And then you can kind of, and you can evolve each one of these images. These ones as well, like some dark army, demons, monsters. Hyper hyper realistic photograph of a druid. Interesting how the AI when asked to produce an image of a druid, produces a female. It's just interesting to observe that because the druid, maybe in archetypically archetypal sense, is more of like the hermit, the long beard, the man with the, the robe. These were, um, let's have, what, what would Ireland be look like if uh, painted by, you know, the surrealist paint artist, Salvador Dali? You can just ask to do that. You can just ask it to do, show you what would it look like if Salvador Dali painted Ireland. I have a really cool one. I might have skipped it already. Um, where is it? I have, um, well, here's the High Kings of Ireland, <laughs> sort of. And I, I, I'm trying to find this other one, but I have it over here on um, Instagram. By the way, I'm going to be posting a lot more on Instagram now. I don't actually post that much. You can see I only have 43 posts, but I'm going to be posting a lot of this artwork over on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, please follow me over there if you want to have a look at this and to see more images and art like this. Look, the Cliffs of Moher as Van Gogh's Starry Night. I would hang that on my wall. I would hang that on my wall. Call it art or not, I would hang that on my wall. 
Okay, so these are the two I had to down in ultra realistic. They're now upscaled to the max. Let's have a look. You know, I actually think it was a little bit more realistic before. I think it, I think it was the previous one was a little bit better, but still, I mean. I'll do one more, okay? I've already experimented with this one, but I'm interested to see what else can come out of it. So when you're using this, there's a lot, to, it's a lot about how you're phrasing the string of words that you're asking it for. Um, and obviously the more common a word is, the more images there would be about it on the internet the more likely it's gonna be able to render something that looks like that type of an image, right? But then if you're using obscure words, or let's say you just type in a string of numbers, it would still generate an image, but it's gonna be just kind of like completely random uh, that what, what that image is. And I can show you an example of that, I think. I have one from earlier. Um, it hasn't shown, shown up here yet. These are some more that I was just experimenting with, Golden Ratio and Chaos. Uh, this was a Celtic cross made out of colorful string. Um, this was, show me what St. Bridget looks like as a goddess. Show me what St. Bridget looks like as a goddess. That's what St. Bridget looks like as a goddess. Um, so yeah, back to my point is that the, the words that you actually use are going to be very influential on what it makes. This was like Dublin made from cardboard, you know, you can do anything. But what I want to experiment with because it's just interesting is Crom Dove because he's an old pagan idol who was very, very prevalent in Ireland. I know he was prevalent in Ireland because I see his name written in places like Mechroom in County Cork, which means the Plain of Crom. There's also the, um, there's a place called Maishlecht, which means the Plain of Prostrations, which was the place where Crom Dove was worshipped. And the legends of St. Patrick and their legends, uh, he is like in opposition to the, to the idol Crom Dove. And um, he like breaks Crom Dove with his crozier. So, there's not a lot of imagery, even though he's definitely something, it's, it's definitely something that was an idol in ancient times. The name Krom, they believe means like the creeping or crouching one, and Duff means black, so the black creeping or crouching one. But I think Krom Duff is a little bit too obscure, so I'm gonna also type in pagan idol worship, ancient Ireland, and the last one I did was kind of um like a painting i'll show it to you now the last one i did was kind of like a painting but this one i'm going to see if i can render it more like a a photograph i've been posting this all over on facebook as well so yeah i did crom duff gaelic idol pagan worship and it came out like this and i love it i think it's just so atmospheric and epic epic <laughs> So I want to do something like that, but I don't want it to be the exact same. So I'm going to do the uh, also like ultra realistic um, and do like, I don't know, CGI. And I don't know, let's just throw something in there like minimalist, right? Just something just to throw the curveball and see what happens. Okay. Wonder what would come up if you type in Irish. Kali, I'll type in Irish, right? But I'll ask you to also think of some more details to that, right? That I can add into it. But I'll type in Irish now and we'll see what will come up, okay? Imagine Irish, right? That's all. Obviously, the more vague you are, the more <laughs> random it's gonna be, whatever it spits back at you. And the more detailed you are, the more precise it's going to be, obviously. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'm getting a little chill down my spine as these images are loading. I have lived in Ukraine for many years. Um, I'm actually going back this week. That's a different story for another day. 
and uh, the Slavic traditional Slavic like religion and culture you know as equivalent to like our Gaelic culture they have still um, um, pagan idols in stone they have a wood carving in the center of Kiev and they're not a million miles away from what we're looking at here so let's have a look Irish <laughs> look at this a lovely Irish Colleen and I mean the, the landscape of course the landscape it's that, that, that quintessential rolling hills Irish landscape let's let's do the Colleen let's um one two three version three let's make a few more versions of the Colleen and see what comes out of that character vibe in Irish I don't, I don't think you get the crack maybe I could just type in what's what's the crack this this could I should say that everything I type and everything that I create um, is in like a public space you don't you can't own the pictures or keep them private so you have to be careful about what you type as well because you don't want to I don't know create an image that's going to maybe be offensive or something like that um, I didn't really think before I typed this that what's the crack can really t turn up anything right so let's have a look they look like um you know olympians you know sport that they've won a competition that they have like their flag or the medal around their their neck but this is what the ai thinks when you type in irish what's the crack abstract see it has to be abstract I'm just gobsmacked. Okay, Chrome is finished now. I don't know which one. I don't know which one. Let's go for the second one because it's the one that has the least amount of uh, features on it. And I think that the, he wouldn't have had a lot of features like faces and stuff. It would have been more like a a carved, maybe maybe <laughs> phallic type of rock. Um, or or our stump of a tree um, it wouldn't have been as stylized as later statues okay so that's what when you ask AI what's the crack this is what it gives you some sort of like watercolor park city scenes I really like this one though let's make that a little bit more detailed cool I mean, and I, <laughs> I've only been using it since yesterday and I'm still like, I'm not very good at it. Let me just jump over. I can show you like there's a whole community, right? And people are constantly sharing their themes in here. There's a daily theme. And so the daily theme is like something made out of paper or cardboard. And people are like sharing their creations in here constantly. It's like, this is, look at that. They typed in a detailed concept art lithograph grid map of vintage toys, ink on paper, photorealism, MC Escher. And this is what they got. And the cool thing is, right, they show you the prompt. So you can actually come in here. I could just take that prompt, like the part that I want, right? And uh, come back over to this chat. Oh, I have to tell it to imagine, first of all. Um of toys right vintage toys but let's do something else let's do of standing stones circles let's just see what happens okay in the meantime we have our first upscaling of chrome look at this it looks like he has one eye in the center of a head with a nose and a mouth. That's kind of creepy, I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay. Who knows what's gonna come up out of this. What's the crack? See the detail that adds into it, the textures, the complexity, the layers. I hope this is as interesting for you guys as it is for me. 
Ireland in the time of Atlantis. That, thank you, Quinn. That's, that's a fantastic um, example. There is on their website, they have like a list of the prompts and they're going to say like, you know, ideas for you, which are like the tree of blank and blank, the temple of blank and blank. So your suggestion there, Ireland in the time of Atlantis, fantastic. Let's do it. Imagine Ireland in the time of Atlantis, but I kind of want to, uh, these are all square images here. So I want it to be um, bigger image, right? So I'll do that. Ireland in the time of Atlantis. Um, how do I do it? AR. Um, okay. Oh, one second. Okay. Nope. Whoops. I get it this time. No. <laughs> okay. It's not the AI, it's me. This is how I know that they're going to take over because I can't even type in the code. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. There you go. Imagine Ireland in the time of Atlantis waiting to start. Let's jump back and see our MC Escher and the artist MC Escher who does like this surrealist stuff. Oh. S detailed concept art lithograph grid map of standing stone circles, ink on paper, photorealism designed by MC Escher. And this is what it produces. And oh, wow. I'm going to do number one and number two, right? Just, I'll just check them back and forth between the uh, chat. Okay. <laughs> The theory of relativity is coming up next. Okay. See, it takes a little bit of time, so um, you just have to be patient. But at the same time, like, it's easy to be patient when you realize what's going on here. This is randomly, can you call it random? And there's so much order behind it, but it's just randomly generated uh, images based on the concept that you're putting into it, based on the string of ideas that you're telling it. It's somehow reading into the, the hyper, the hive mind of the internet and generating these images in real time. What you're looking at here, nobody, not only has nobody in the history of man ever seen this image, Nobody in the history of man has ever conceived of this image. It has never even been in the mind of the imagination of a human being. This is this is a this is new territory. This is new territory. How are we getting on with Atlantis? Okay, so we get the rough sketches of Atlantis here. I'll actually let you pick if you want. Um, picture number one, picture number two, picture number three, and picture number four. Just type your answer in. I'll check the chat now in a moment because I think there's a little bit of a delay between us. Um, so picture number one, which is kind of like a island uh, with a castle on it out at sea. Picture number two looks like it's two castles with a kind of um, an inlet. Another castle on an island, kind of close up here, and two more castles on an island. So I guess AI thinks Ireland in the time of Atlantis was um, a castle on an, Ireland, on an island. Let me see. Number one. Okay. Okay, we got number one as the option. So we're going back. Uh, where are you? Where are you? So for number one, let's... Um, they're all kind of similar, so I'm not going to make more variations of the same kind of thing, but let's upscale it and tell AI, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Let's see what it looks like when it's in more detail, okay? And in the meantime, I hope our, ups yeah, we've finished upscaling here. So this is the 
the trippy MC Escher-esque detailed concept lithograph income paper of sta um, standing stone circle. Number one. <laughs> Number two. If you're an artist, you can probably appreciate more than most people the level of like work and time and imagination, creativity and skill that would have to go into creating something that looks so interesting, so ordered, but also so absurd at the same time. Like it's almost it's, it's almost difficult for humans to intentionally <coughs> create that sort of absurdity, that sort of uniqueness. Um, so I really don't know. I have a colleague in work who, <laughs> our graphic design team in work, I sent it to him last night and uh, he said like, this is mind blowing. Um, I, and, and as I said, I'm only kind of getting into it and I'm using it only for the Irish stuff because that's what I'm into, right? There's, you can make posters with this. You can say, hey, design a business card that looks like this, that has this kind of imagery on it. You can just tell it to create any sorts of images, not just these little square ones that are happening here. As I said, you can go into more detail. When I included this code AR16 to nine, it gives me the ratio saying, I want the ratio of 16 to nine, which is the typical one that we have on our screens. Usually like a YouTube cover, a YouTube video is like 16 to nine, okay? So this is it with the more detail, look at that. Yeah, it looks like we have a little boat, a boat down here. We have some castles standing here, another castle off in the distance, it's amazing. It's almost like, I feel like, it, it's gonna sound silly, but it's almost like super, something supernatural. It's like we're conjuring up visions of the ancient past at least in the archetypal sense. This is not a physical landscape of a place that existed, but in the archetypal sense, in the realm of the imagination, there you go. And you know what? We can upscale this one more time. Let's, let's see how that goes. I'm just checking the comments and they're saying, as a graphic designer, the greatest difficulty is finding inspiration, um, PK. Check out this tool. There's, there's videos on YouTube. This is how I found out about it. There's a guy on YouTube who explains how to, it's, it's really easy to set it up. Um, the thing is, it's easy to set it up and start using it as a newbie, but you're limited to like, I think 10 pictures or something like that. I just got so hooked on it straight away that I'm like, I'm gonna pay the subscription, which is either like $10, I think uh, $10, you can get one for 20 or uh, $30 a month. And you get like many, um, as many images as you like, something like that. And so that's the great thing for inspiration because you can just come in and say, you know, type in your concept, type in your concept of what you're kind of thinking about and it will start to spit out images at you. Um, you can use style, you can say, look, do this in an Art Nouveau style, paint, paint like uh, Leonardo da Vinci in a cubism style and it, <laughs> it will do it, you know? <laughs> Okay, so we're at 45%. It looks absolutely magical. It looks magical. You know, as I'm using it, I'm realizing that the only thing that's holding me back is the limitation of my own imagination because I'm here and I'm trying to think of words and concepts and phrases to put together to come up with something interesting. But I've never had the power at my disposal, like the tool at my disposal, where my concepts can be rendered so quickly in so much detail that it's a little bit overwhelming, that I don't know where to start and where to stop. It's fascinating. Look, we're at 83% here. And I'm gonna repeat, like I'm probably totally underutilizing this tool because I just want to use it to make pictures of Ireland and stuff like that. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll jump back over and show some of the other uh, examples of other people's work now in a minute. Um, this vid video's gone on a bit longer than I expected, but if I, wasn't make, if I wasn't doing a live stream here, I'd probably just be playing around with it anyway. So what's the difference? Okay, there you go, look at that. You can almost see, you can almost see through the water to the seabed underneath castle it's 
Now, I didn't put any extra deep. It looks like an oil painting, yeah? But if, if we wanted to, we could go back to the prompt and we could say, render this as a as an ultra HD CGI, something like that. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. Detailed, realistic landscape of Phoenician art. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, Quinn. I'm gonna do like, maybe I'll do the same prompt so we can see how it thinks differently, right? Um, of Ireland at the time of Atlantis, but I'll use all of these like ultra HD prompts as well that I have somewhere here. Um, sorry for this guys, just, just bear with me for a moment. Mm. Let's go for like this, yeah. I'm looking for these prompts here. No paint. So I'm just gonna copy this prompt in. Oh, it's here and in there. And let's see. Okay, the prompt is Ireland in the time of Atlantis, CGI, Unreal Engine 5, ultra realistic, <laughs> ultra high detail, no paint. <laughs> it's fun, right? It's it's fun. It's it's such a cool toy and um, it, it really solves a big problem for me with the videos because there's so many aspects to it. it's like finding the actual images first of all there's not an abundant resource of images of Gaelic Ireland you can find stuff with the Germanic tribes and the Nordic tribes as well as the Slavic tribes and a little bit of stuff that you could say is Gaelic but I often had to substitute pictures for like if I want to talk about the Brehen on a hill I have this great image of uh, illustration they're sitting around and it's but it's Slavic but it's the closest that I have to make it seem like Gaelic and one of the things that's always de like delayed the production of my videos is in actually trying to find an image that matches the particular five seconds of <laughs> content that I'm speaking and then another image and another image and that's always been a challenge and now it's just if I if I'm making a video about I don't know Tirnanog or something like that I can just come in here and type the land of eternal youth and there you go I'm gonna have pictures of Tirnanog that nobody has ever seen before that nobody has ever seen before it's phenomenal so we, we're, we're rendered down here it's like more realistic and I'm gonna go again back to the chat. Um, the first one who types the number in is the one that I'll make more detailed. I'll just give it a second um, because I think there's a delay still. So this kind of just looks like a field with some kind of maybe ancient runes along it. They all kind of look like that to be honest. This one kind of has a castle. And this one looks more like we're out at sea looking back to the land. So I'll just give a moment or two for the, for the chat. Whoever wants to type in there, um, which one will you go for? If we're still here. No takers? Four. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, PK. Thanks. I like that one too, actually. Um, so let's just, maybe let's make some more variations and we'll upscale it and we'll see what comes out of it because... I like that one too, but maybe it will give us something a little bit more interesting. Um, in the meantime, while that's while that's working away, I'll jump back over to like the community pages and just have a look at what other people are making. So let's check out abstract, okay? Surreal, book of revelations, mist, ripples, swirls, fractal smoke. And they get this. This is cool. It's like Vikings, that's so cool. Surreal abstract, Kandinky style, elephant and crocodile playing chess on a chessboard with chess figures made of zombies. Focus on the elephant and crocodile. Surreal, hyper-realistic details, high detail focus. See, see how much you can go into? See how much detail you can go into? I'm just like totally scratching the surface. And when you go into that detail, and you know how to communicate with that AI, it will produce an image like this. I honestly don't actually know what I'm looking at here. <laughs> but still, it's interesting, right? 
logo and a symbol for the designer in the chat i think it was pk look at this so they typed in a logo symbol of a cat pentagram scroll lucifer satan whatever you're into <laughs> people are all into all sorts i'm looking up weird druids and old ancient gods so whatever but look it just generates these four images that they can go ha huh, i'm interested in one of these i'm going to replicate it make different variations and then you have something that you can create from there was one that i missed i'm sorry it was like i think it said the theory of relativity yeah the theory of relativity um okay and I also see tartaria old world uh eden city so let's do the theory of relativity first and then i'm going to wrap it up because we'll be here all day uh, i will make more of these in the future i just wanted to to show it to you because it's awesome um Relativity, theory of relativity. We'll leave it simple and we'll do imagine, oops, imagine Tartaria, Old World, Eden City. Okay. This kind of looks like the west, the west of Ireland, you know, down along where the cliffs are, Cliffs Moor. So this is the upscaled version of it. And we will get some more variations. I think these are the variations. So we have the variations here as well. And again, you can just say, look, I prefer this one or there's, there's ways that you can tell it. Like I like the elements in this one, but not in this one. So produce something that doesn't have the water, but maybe has the cliff. Um, this is the theory of relativity. <laughs> look at this guys. Amazing. Amazing. Like, I've been using it since yesterday and I'm still like gobsmacked by this. It's it's not a gimmick, you know, it's like actually a tool that's working. If you want to get onto this yourself, look for mid journey bots and um, that's the name of the tool. You need to use Discord to actually use the tool don't let that put you off because i wasn't a discord user i'm not a typical i'm not a, like a regular discord user i've used it a few times wasn't a big fan of it but i found it really easy to use um there's great uh, instructions and everything online so this is pretty groundbreaking and they're, they're doing the kind of beta testing at the moment they've only released the beta testing to ordinary people like <laughs> like me and you and it was originally just kind of close to the, um, the the programming community so you can actually get in on this now um, and it's free to use you don't have to pay the subscription if you want to make a few like I think you can have 10 pictures or something like that for free you can check it out and then it's ten dollars um, I don't get paid I'm nothing to do with them <laughs> nothing to do with them right <laughs> but it's like ten dollars for 200 pictures a month so um, Good question pk is asking i wonder what the constraints are on the ai that would be really cool to test it and try and break it you know like let's see if you can put in like i put in one the other day an impossible five-dimensional shape and an impossible five-dimensional shape that's what it showed me i was trying to trick it you know um so be interesting what they say in the kind of the website over here like how to use it is like don't it, it doesn't know how to think in the negative so instead of saying like somebody who's not wearing a blue hat say somebody wearing a red hat like little things like that so that's a little bit of the constraints it will still render an image for you but if you want it to be more precise you should try and think of the positive thing and um the language that you use is, can be quite interesting so this is the tartaria old world eden city um i don't know what do you think it's awesome like people spend months graphic designers like designing landscapes and concept art for fantasy books films etc etc that would actually spend like hours and hours 
doing of like designs like this and maybe there will still always be a demand for that human work you know but this tool is not is going to be indispensable to the imagination process for for artists the creative process here's theory of relativity upscaled by one that's all is that's all we said to it there's theory of relativity upscaled by one i mean i that's so cool i would put that on my wall it's amazing i'm running out of like <laughs> good things to say i'm running out of adjectives so let's maybe not to say how good it is like <laughs> the ramifications of this are, i think are quite serious like if we can see how this tool which is can be kind of a fun tool it's available to everybody can make so much of a very human and skill intensive industry like that it can threaten that so quickly what do i mean is like art is something that not everybody can do it takes years to get good at it it takes years to build a career and to be able to um what's the word disrupt disrupt that industry so rapidly so quickly apply that then to what if it's like I don't know what if there's other um human very human dependent industries like let's say law even for example i've heard that they they've tried to develop or they have developed ai that can um issue fines for court cases i heard that china is using ai in their um courts let's see if i can find that China uses artificial intelligence. Yeah, that's so crazy. China uses artificial intelligence to run courts, Supreme Courts, cutting the judge's typical workload by more than a third and saving a billion work hours. A judge is a job that you have to train for years to do. I have a degree in law. It's a, they, <laughs> it's a hard topic, and so they say it's a hard topic. And it's difficult to get to the top. You need to have a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge. And you can just program an AI to then take that work from the law, from the courts. So there's no human going to be making decisions. So, yeah, this is a phenomenal tool. It reminds me of that quote, which is like, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Well, this is sufficiently advanced technology, you know. <laughs> Look at that put that on your wall here's the tartaria upscaled it reminds me of like when i've heard of like nineveh or something or some you know some fantasy landscape and i'll upscale it one more time okay and then i'm gonna wrap up the video theory of relatively uh, upscaled to the max here let's zoom in on it that's about as far as i can go I just don't know what to say. <laughs> That's Albert Einstein when he had orange hair as a youngster. Very good. <laughs> okay, so we're nearly finished. We're at like 20% here. Maybe I'll just show you a few more of my creations from yesterday. Um, so I started to try and get like creative, abstract, like a disco fusion, techno raven. Ended up something like this. This was like trying to render. I want to portray like the Irish gods, but in kind of like traditional Christian or, or um, what do they call it? Iconography, uh, like the Orthodox iconography, but that's how it came out. These, I mean, I typed in, what was it? Gaelic God, Gaelic God, Orthodox iconography and this is what it presented me i mean it's nonsense but it's also like i can't look away <laughs> we've looked at her uh, i said do a, imagine a square ball a square ball i'm trying to trick it with like impossible requests Just two I had to damn in photorealistic. 
I find it interesting that every time I've typed to the Danon, it's been women. And every time I've typed Druids, it's been women. That except is, <laughs> here's, here's an exception to that. Irish Druids in a forest grove. Golden ratio, chaos. Irish Druids in a grove, Renaissance style painting. And you can't really make out anything with this. It's like your eye just moves around the picture. You think you see a hand, maybe it's a face. Is that somebody crouched down? Is that some... And it's just noise, um, but it's really an intriguing <laughs> noise. And I guess that's what art is supposed to be, right? It's supposed to have you staring at it and thinking and contemplating. This is uh, the first iteration of Irish Druids in a Grove Renaissance style painting. Same again, this is like realistic. Cool, I just got the notification that it's done, so let's have a look. There you go. Tartaria. Okay. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, my mind is blown. My videos, I hope, are about to get more, a lot more beautiful and interesting. I will make more videos on this in the future. Um, but for now, uh, I, just, I just had to share this tool with you. A little update from my side I kind of alluded to earlier is that I will be going back to Ukraine this week. For There's a number of reasons that I need to go back. Um, which means that, unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I think I'll be as available as I have been in the past month to be producing as much videos, as much content as I had been. Um, really want to thank you again for all the support, for all the views, for all the likes and the subscribes, um, subscriptions. Ah, can you please um, keep spreading the word, sharing links to the videos, just telling people that, that this uh, Brehan Academy <laughs> YouTube channel exists and the sort of content that I put out here. Um, also, like I really appreciate your feedback. I'm really paying attention to the kind of responses that I get for the videos, the comments and the engagement. And I'm uh, trying to make my content better and more engaging and more entertaining for you guys all the time. So uh, enjoy your Sunday. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And I hope you have a great week next week. Um, there you go. AI created epic art imagination on a screen okay folks thank you very much until next time slong fall august bear which means 